Hi and welcome back to Vanguard Motor Sales. I'm here today with a beautiful 41 Plymouth with suicide doors. Talk about a sweet, sweet ride guys. It's got a wonderful motor, a 360 motor, and it just moves out perfect. It drives like a Cadillac. We're doing this video for you today so you can make a great buying decision. Also, don't go, forget to go to ClassicCarBuyingSecrets.com and download the 7 Deadly Mistakes to buy in a classic car online. Once again, my name is Tom Fotios, available seven days a week, 248-974-9513. Come on up and let's take a beautiful look, take it for a ride, and then you'll see Greg Payne back at the shop to show you the undercarriage and the mechanics. Wow, talk about the paint job on here. Absolutely beautiful, guys. It is a one stunning ride. Um, the suicide doors are triggered with a solenoid right underneath the uh, kick panel here. If I can put my foot on it, I can do it with my foot. There we go. Absolutely beautiful. Doors open and shut great. One awesome ride, guys. Don't miss out on the opportunity to own this hot little Plymouth. The uh, back trunk is triggered by one of these buttons. Check that out. There you go. Beautiful purple trunk. Triggered with a solenoid. Going down the passenger side, you have the same beauty as the driver's side. Custom striping. All the good stuff. See, this even has the uh, electronic popper as well on there. Don't forget to go to VanguardMotorsales.com and become social subscribers on YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook. Check out the beautiful tweed interior. You got a B&M shifter, custom gauges, suicide doors, just a stunning unit, guys. Don't miss out. Buy one done. Save yourself some money. Buy this beautiful solid car and have some fun this year at the car shows. Hi, I'm Greg with Vanguard Motor Sales and we're standing underneath the 41 Plymouth we just got in. Um, it, this car's got a GM A-body front suspension grafted in. There's a 360 up here is the power plant. We've got a 727 transmission. It uh, looks like the guy's done a real good job uh, grafting this frame in. There's only a little bit of the 41 frame left pretty much from here to here and then they grafted in the A-body rear suspension also and we've got a Ford 8 inch rear end um, right here. Uh, looks like it's got the original 41 gas tank in it. We've got some new aluminized two and a half inch exhaust with some cherry bomb mufflers. We've got drum brakes all the way around, front and rear. We've got 15 inch coker wide whites. Uh, Fabri, you wanna shoot around there and show them the white whites. And on the front, there's 14 inch wide whites. We can look at the floorboards here. These floorboards are all original 1941 floorboards. All I can find is a pinhole of rust here and there. For the most part, these floorboards are gorgeous. Don't look like they've ever been hurt. 
the front fenders up here, I, I don't see any patchwork in them. I can see the details on the outside still in the back of the fender. You can see all the details here. There's been no metal work, no mud work, anything done there. We've got battery lugs here. The battery's in the trunk, so if the car dies on you, you can jump start it right here. And then we have a door popper here because the door handles have all been shaved off. So you can just reach under and pop your door open. There's one on each side. And you can see this fender's the same way. This fender's solid, never been, never been metal finished, never had any mud work or anything done on it. Really gorgeous car underneath. I drove this car yesterday and this car drives just like a dream. We'll lower it down here and take a look at the top of the motor which is all chromed out. Well here we are again. Here's the top of the 360. We've got a polished intake. We've got a polished Edelbar carburetor. Got that nice big tall velocity stack. Polished alternator. Uh, we've got chrome pulleys in here. We've got a polished AC unit, a polished uh, overflow tank, uh, manual brakes on this car. He's even got a polished coil here. We've got um, a Mallory ignition in the back running it. Looks like we've got exhaust manifolds. We've got electric fans on the uh, condenser and on the radiator. So he's got two of them in there. And as you can see underneath the hood too, on the bottom side of the hood here, doesn't look like it's ever been hurt. This car is a real solid car.